What is going on, my friends? Dr. Bruce here with another installment of the Solopreneur Movement Podcast. Every single week, I come into your life with some kind of relevant information, some kind of strategy, some kind of motivation, inspiration to help you go out there and play at a different level, to help you go out there and reach your full potential as a salesperson. As a solopreneur, I understand that most of your duties are built around your sales, your service, your marketing, and all of this is a mindset. And a lot of the times it falls solely on you to go out there and do that. This week's topic, I want to break down this concept called Acres of Diamonds. You know, I learned about this book. This book was written back in 1915. And the premise of the story is this, is there is this farmer had who had this land, all these acres of farmland out there. And at that time, it was all about finding diamonds. And he heard this story about, hey, there are diamonds out here at this other land. Go out there, follow the stream, go look for it. And while he was out there looking for all these diamonds, uh, another farmer came in and he actually sold his land, bought the land, and he, he mined that own land that that old farmer owned that was out there looking for these diamonds that were out there. And what this farmer realized is this guy was sitting on acres of diamonds already. So the moral of that story is, or at least what I take from it as a sales professional, and the reason this is fresh in my mind is because I was spending time last night, I do this every Sunday, I was spending time planning for the week. And what I realized was going through my database, how much potential money is already sitting within my database. I teach a concept called the top 25 advocates, right? Where we, we have these 25 deep, meaningful relationships with other people of influence who have our backs and re, in return, we have their backs. And when we talk about sitting on acres of diamonds, is I truly believe that if you just farm your own current database of people, there are already a lot of people out there in your sphere, in your database, whatever you want to call it, your sphere of influence, who already know you, like you, trust you, and respect you. And I think it's commendable for a lot of us to want to go out there and drum up new business, go out there and meet new people. I'm not saying don't do that. But what I am saying is make sure that you are mining to your current acres of diamonds. You could be sitting on a fortune right now within your current pipeline, within your current database of people. I truly believe that every one deal could or should be worth 5.7 additional deals. That's the mindset that I'm in. So for all of my new clients, for all of my past clients, uh, for all of my advocates, for all of my referral partners, for all these different people out there, right? We're like every one of these people could be worth 3.5 or shoot, three to five additional deals. Like that's the mindset that I'm in, right? Every one deal could be worth 5.7 additional deals. If we just took care of our current acres of diamonds, it would be a shame if one of your partners, one of your past clients, right, went and used somebody else. And then they turned into a big advocate for that person and fed that other person so much additional deals because you didn't take care of them because you didn't take care of that friendship, because you didn't mine that friendship for acres of diamonds. So that's my concept for you for this week. And again, like if I'm being completely honest, why this is fresh in my own mind is because, you know, I fell into a lot of bad habits like a lot of people did during COVID. Maybe I didn't plan the way that I should. Maybe I didn't follow up with my past clients the way that I should. And so I've been following my own system, right? And a lot of people will ask me, well, what CRM works best? Or what strategy works best? Or what's the new get rich quick tool. And I'll just say, you know, whatever system that you consistently follow is the best system. So for me, I follow my 90 day selling system. I scrub my database once a week. I go through, I make sure I add in all my new clients. I make sure I add in all my new leads. I have my call to actions going into the week. I call that your vision board. Every single week, I fill out my weekly vision board, not only inside of my sales planner, but also inside of our SaaS that we created, right? Our software as a service, I call this your sales accountability uh, system, okay? So I go in there and I fill this all out and I fell into bad habits and routines over this past year. And now that I'm finally getting back into my consistent discipline routine, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm sitting on so much money. I'm sitting on acres of diamonds if I just take the time to slow down, to speed up on the back end. So slow down, spend time with your current database of people. Build out your top 25 advocates. Build out your top 25 connectors. Go through and have conversations with your past clients, right? Make sure that you're converting your new clients to promoters and advocates who go out there and feed you additional deals. There are three rewards that we should get from one transformational experience. We should get referrals, we should get reviews, and we should get repeat business, okay? So that's the mindset that I'm in right now 
is if I just take care of my current database of people. And I'll just let you know, when I moved from Nashville to Denver to launch my own business, you know, five years ago, almost exactly, I didn't know a single person in that market. And then within a year, I had over a thousand people, close to 1500 people inside of my database following a system. But what happens is we're constantly going out there and trying to find new business, new people, because for a lot of us, that's human nature. That's what prospecting is, is we're told as salespeople, we all, we always have to be going out there and lead generating. But the reality is once you build up your top 100 people, your top 250 people within your database of people, they could be feeding you business for the rest of your life if you just take care of that business. If you just farm those acres of diamonds that you're currently sitting on and having those conversations and truly being involved in their lives and knowing what's going on in their lives and being a promoter and an advocate for them. And in return, they will say good things about you, right? So that's just something for you to think about. It was something that really hit me last night when I was sitting down, you know, I was having a cocktail, I was watching Sunday night football and I just started going through and I really spent three hours going through my database and making sure that I was planned for the week. And I was just like, oh my goodness, there are so, there's so much opportunity that I'm already sitting on. If I just slow down and I'm intentional with all these different relationships within my life that I've already developed and built, it's probably the same way with you. So get back to farming those relationships, get back into having those conversations, get back into adding the value, get back involved in their lives, right? And a lot of people will ask me, well, how do you do that after you haven't talked to somebody for a year a year, or three years or five years even, right? A lot of my friends out there, uh, they've been in the business for five, 10, 15, 20 plus years. And just admit that you dropped the ball. Just say, hey, you know, it, it, we live in a fast paced world. We live in an ADHD world. We're always trying to go out there and find new things. And I apologize for not spending more time with you. And, and so I have this event coming up next week. Would you want to attend it, right? Or uh, we have this going on. Or what are, what are some things that you have going on? So guys, the, the quickest way to rekindle a spirit, rekindle a relationship, if it's kind of gone dry, is just admit that you dropped the ball and you didn't do the things that you should have done to rekindle that spirit. So are you currently sitting on acres of diamonds? Do you have a top 25 advocate strategy of people out there who could feed you three to five additional deals every single year? That's the concept that we're focused on this week for you as a solopreneur. Thanks again. Uh, let's have a great week. If you ever need coaching, just be uh, aware that we have a, a, a program called 90 Day Sales Manager. Every single day we have weekly, excuse me, every single week we have weekly coaching. Every single day we have the accountability and every single month we do evaluations and we go much deeper into concepts like this.